going on YouTube it's your boy logistical styles coming at you with another video today we're going to be talking about gobo projectors and specifically we're going to be talking about the projector that you use to project your gobo back in the day we used to use dedicated devices for projecting gobos which required you to go out and get a metal or a glass gobo created and you know made for whatever specific event that you were doing and you would use it once it would cost a lot of money it would take a while for you to get it in your hands and then once the event is done it was kind of useless well we've as DJs have kind of moved on to using actual projectors like you would use for projecting a movie maybe for your home theater or even in you know in corporate environments they use projectors as well well these projectors can be used to display gobos or images or graphics of people's logos or initials or monograms we can use these and they come out way clearer and they look better and you can get it done a lot quicker than using the old school gobo these projectors are pretty familiar they're not really new technology they've been out for years but they have uh, different inputs and in my projector right here you can see I've got a HDMI input I've got a S video input I've got the standard um, RCA input which would take a composite uh, input video input um, VGA I've got a couple of those inputs and a mini HD uh, actually a mini USB input what you'll notice is I don't have a USB, a regular standard USB input. So normally if I wanted to use this projector, I would have to have a separate laptop dedicated to just showing the graphic that I'm trying to project. Well, I was looking at other videos on YouTube and looking at um, some things on Amazon and I came across a media player that you can get and you can connect it to your projector or your TV to display certain graphics. Now, the one I found on uh, Amazon is a pretty generic one. It's the MP018 Full HD Media Player. Doesn't even really have a brand name. Cost me, well, AGP Tech is the name of the brand. Made in China, um, nothing really special about it. I got it on Amazon for about 30 bucks, but um, what it does is it gives me the capability to be able to add graphics from a USB stick or SD card to my projector without having to use a laptop. Because, you know, in all actuality, using a $900, $1,200 laptop just to display graphics is a little bit of uh, overkill. So I found this product online. I got it. Um, it's got basically a little lead for power and then you've got outputs for older composite video um, but I'm more focused on the HDMI output it's got a USB uh, port and a SD card port which you can use to uh, upload graphics or your gobo I went and added this little small uh, USB card stick it's from SanDisk it's a 32 gig it's low profile fits right in and it allows me to uh, add graphics to my projector. So coming out from the HDMI port out here, it goes into the HDMI port in here and it allows me to go through and choose music files, movie files, photo files, um, anything pretty much that I have stored in here as long as it's a certain type of file format which are basically the the more common ones your, your movie.mp3.mp4 .mp4. Um, so <clears throat> I'll show you real quick what it looks like on I've got a projector screen set up over here so once I flip the camera you'll be able to see uh, basically how I'm using this uh, media player okay so this is what the projector is shooting right now at the um, media play it's in sleep mode so it's got this little screensaver going but if I you know use a remote I can go into the menu and it allows me to choose between um, I can go through music movies photos I've got my settings and then I can just go through the file browser and, and search for what I want to display so I've got files up I'm using remote control that comes along with it you get a pretty neat remote control comes along with it uses um, AAA batteries so it's pretty standard stuff 
Um, so I'm using this to navigate through the menu, choose my USB device, which is my little USB card. There's a folder in there. And then you can see some of the files that are there. Um, let's see. So if I choose to go with this right here, this is my logo currently. Um, I can choose that. It's, right now it's going to go through like a slideshow, but I just hit pause. So um, this is all I would have to do really for a gig. I would just have my graphic loaded onto the thumb drive turn on the projector, turn on the uh, media player box, and then just navigate to the file. And as long as I can just leave this for the whole party and it would do, you know, exactly that. Or you can get other files made where you have like movies or animated logos and graphics. And those look really well, really nice as well. I've seen some with like during the winter time, you've had the snowflakes coming down or um, I've seen, you know, the logo actually move almost like a wave effect but you can do a lot of things with it but um, my main use for this is to be able to display graphics on my projector without having to have a separate laptop just dedicated to that um, this is like a lifesaver for me it costs 30 bucks and it really is going to make my setup a lot easier and it will be encourage me to pull out the projector and use it a lot more because um, lately I haven't been using it because it's like oh I don't want to pull out the other laptop I don't want to have to deal with you um, know all that other stuff <clears throat> that comes along with it but this is a really small footprint um, the device can fit in the palm of my hand I can velcro it to the projector or I can get a really long HDMI cord and have the box right next to me where I'm set up with my um, turntables so I've got a lot of options with this um, I think if you're in the market of using a gobo projector and you're um, wondering whether you should use a traditional older gobo projector where you would have to get the glass or metal gobo cut and then wait a few days or possibly a week to get it back no definitely go with a projector projectors can be you know varying uh a varying design and specs so you know you want to look at what you're getting uh, this particular projector i got for free i just had to go and source a, a bulb for it and then once i was able to do that i was able to use it and now i'm incorporating it into my mobile uh, DJ setup so take a look at it go on Amazon go on eBay look up uh, HD media player you'll find a whole bunch of them there's some generic ones out there there's some name brand ones um, you can get them as low as like I paid about 30 bucks for this one I've seen some go for as much as like a hundred hundred and fifty but you get different options and features when the more money you pay but what I needed was to be able to hook up a USB device to my projector because the projector doesn't have a USB port and this made it happen. So once again, this is your boy Logistical Styles. Um, if you're liking the video so far and you're learning and it's helping you out, please, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, you can uh, follow me on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook under uh, Logistical Styles. Just type that in and I'll be the first thing that pops up. But uh, keep looking out for more videos and um, check out me probably in about a week or so with another tip or product review.